Well, hello once again. You are listening to the Appleton Ria podcast. My name is Dan Alborn, and my co-pilot, as always, Jackie Conco. How are you? I'm excellent. Happy podcast day. Yeah, for sure. We are here today. The whole point of this podcast is to help you as a real estate investor become more proficient, better, effective in who you are, whether you're just starting out in real estate investing or you're that savvy investor, the old dog that's been doing it for years. We want to give you some (laughs) 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 some tips, tricks, and techniques to help you become more effective and successful um, in real estate investing. Obviously, Jackie and myself, we have, boy, well over 30 plus years combined of real estate experience. So that's where we come into play and help you guys. So today, we want to talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, yeah, right? COVID. Yeah, I mean, let's Riots. talk a little bit about COVID-19. And, and just, <laughs> I mean, it's that and then other things, right? Yeah. Let's maybe just put the media or what's what's being thrown in front of us on a day-in, day-out basis, um, whether it be COVID, whether it be the riots, whether it be you know things going on with racial inequality. And we're not going to talk about any of those things nope. independently of themselves. Nope. Because, Dan, it's always going to be something. Yes. It was impeachment. It was, you know, all the different things in politics. There's always something negative because if the news was positive, no one would watch it, which is sad. For sure. But it's anything negative. So... Well, what's tough is, say, is, is obviously <laughs> we've had things that have happened to us as Americans in the mm-hmm. last four to six months that has never happened in the history of this country. For sure. Telling everyone to stay at home, don't do anything, stop being Americans, right? Stop I being mean, American, yeah. We, I mean, as, as Americans, we pride ourselves as independent and going to do things Free. and living on our terms, right? And for what's happened, and we didn't know what was going to happen with COVID, everyone was a good soldier. They really yep, were, right? We, we were. stayed at home. We, we did listened. what we were told to. And, and and part of that, there's so much fear because we had the unknown of what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a few things that can happen is you can regress and really pull back from, you know, as we enter into a new year, we talked a lot about goal setting oh, and, yeah, and, yeah. and how do you set up your business to succeed in 2020. Well, I mean, all you see in the news now is 2020 is the worst year ever known to man. Which isn't true. It's not true. It's not true. My year's been fantastic. I would agree, Jackie. (laughs) Same here. So the whole point of today's podcast is where is your compass, right? I mean, you use a compass to navigate you through. If you're in the middle of the woods and you know you need to go north, but you pull out the compass and say, all right, I go this direction. Well, right now, with all the media being thrown at us, um, there's so much we're inundated with all this negativity. Yeah. Our compass can be screwy if we're not checking it. We're going to be going in so many different directions like a ship without a rudder. You're going to be tossed to and fro hearing all these things and doing absolutely nothing. And that's mm-hmm. the unfortunate side. So how do you realign your compass? How do you make sure you pull that out? And then more importantly, put yourself forward on a path to being successful in even some of the most adverse times that we're in today. Uh, with everything going on in the world today. So that's kind of the whole point of this podcast. Yeah, and don't be mistaken. It is a choice. Mm -hmm. It is a choice. We are still Americans. We are free. It doesn't feel like it all the time, but it is a choice. It is a choice what you think about. It's a choice what you do every day. Mm -hmm. It's a choice who you listen to. It's a choice to turn off the damn TV. <laughs> let, let me be real. Right. It is well, a even choice. Even that TV. I mean, it's it's on your phone. You get. I mean, oh, I, your I, I social media. You too. Yeah. I get pinged m- numerous turn times of the day of just like this news article, this thing on social media. It you can have a be choice. really dis- discouraging. And you also have a choice of who you're hanging around with. Yeah. Who you're brainstorming with about what's right. next. Mm-hmm. You know, because you could be brainstorming about building a bunker in your yard and and prepping for crazy times or you could be brainstorming about how do I live today and not worry Mm -hmm. about tomorrow right because that's the true reality and so many people are so afraid of tomorrow that they're destroying today right and and the thing about this guys and this is why real estate is such a phenomenal tool is that Mm -hmm. no one would have ever planned this to happen and you never plan when calamity happens you just need to be prepared right you have to understand and with real estate it's a phenomenal vehicle that you can use set when when the ship takes a hard right because the wave crashes against the boat, um, you can navigate it successfully. If you don't have a plan in place, you get tossed far to the right and you you don't recover, right? So real estate can be a phenomenal time that even when these things happen, you can circumvent that and then get yourself back on the narrow, on the straight and narrow, I should say, in a very short window of time. So all the things that you're talking about, Jackie, of like, you know, how are you putting your mindset? Are you yep. are you becoming so inundated with the negativity of the news? Are you surrounding yourself with people that are just talking down and just, woe is me and woe is the world and, you know, we're going to die tomorrow? 
the reality is, is be aware of what's going on. Don't completely put your head in the sand. That's the wrong thing to do. Be aware, Correct. get educated, but don't let it consume you because this can do exactly that. Mm-hmm. How are you being productive and who are you surrounding yourself with to be productive? Because that's how you get that, that compass mm-hmm. back going the direction that you want to go, right? Um, and, and, you know, to some degree, you have to live for today. Yes. Right? Because let's just be devil's advocate for a second. Mm-hmm. Let's just say all this really does turn into a pile of doo-doo. And at the <laughs> end of the year, we're all so sick that we all start passing away. Do you want to sit there on December 31st looking back at 2020 and saying, gosh, I really wish I would have got out and lived my life. I wish I would have done more. I wish I wouldn't have just sat sat in fear and and depression all day. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to look back and say, I did everything I decided to do. I was in charge of my day. I was in charge of my life. And I was in charge of my year. Mm -hmm. And I did what I set out to do. I did it in a safe manner. And I hung around and I saw the people I needed to hang around and see. And I kept my mind in check. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I think Jack, you said it earlier. The reality is, if it's not COVID, if it's not riots, there'll be something, be something else. You know. And granted, we're in an election cycle, and you can go back and do the oh, history. Boy. Whenever there's an election cycle, a lot of these type of things pop up. Mm-hmm. So what's the next thing going to be? It's going to be the next worst thing since sliced bread. So <laughs> the, the reality is, is how are you going to handle that like when it comes? Because I can't tell you. I'm a crystal ball. I don't know what that right. is, and it could be completely something we've never heard or seen before. But to Jackie's point, how are you pushing through that? How are you kind of overcoming that? How are you dealing with today, knowing that it could affect you into some level, but then exactly how are you planning for it and how are you going to be ready for when that comes? You can set your compass on fear or opportunity. Right. So let's talk about the opportunity. Yeah. Let's set that compass. For sure. And get rid of you know all the stuff in the, the rear view mirror and, and the windshield. And let's just, <laughs> <laughs> right? let's just look at the opportunity, right? right? What do we have today? We have two choices. Mm-hmm. We can do nothing or we can get busy. Right. So let's build our future as though it looked bright mm-hmm. because it does. You know, as far as we know, the future is bright. So how can we get busy? What are the things that we can do? Um, as Dan pointed out earlier, a lot of money changes hands during times oh like my, these. Yes. I mean, this is when the shifts happen. Mm-hmm. This is when the self-made people make themselves. Absolutely. So who are you? Who do you want to be? What do you Mm -hmm. want your future to look like? What is the legacy you're looking to leave? Let's get busy. Well, I think that the key is too, is I mean, if you listen to some successful people, the Mark Cubans of the world, the Mm -hmm. Buffets of the world, that's exactly what they're saying. What's the next shift, right? Well, where's the money going to go? Because it's going to go somewhere. And the phenomenal thing through all this, the one thing that's tried and true over and over again is real estate Mm -hmm. is one of the best ways to create income ever. Because people always need a place We're to live. We're always going to need it. Right. You're always going to – people going to have a place over there, whether you're renting or buying. People always need a place to live. That's not going away no matter what type of technology comes our way. Right. Right. Yeah, I just heard somebody the other day saying, you need to invest in um, syringes because with all the you know, the extra <laughs> sure. vaccines that are going to come out, there's going to be a shortage in all the companies that make syringes. Right. You know, Their stock is going to go up. And I'm like, well, now that you said it, I'm sure I missed that boat. <laughs> right. Well, it could have been masks. Yeah. You know, Oh, get into masks. Well, now, I, now there's a yeah. glut. Or get into hand sanitizer. Now they're always giving it away at stores yeah. because there's so much of it. And we needed it. But if that's what happens. It's the yes. ebb and flow. And if you're on the – it's it's almost like multi-level marketing. If you're there on the ground <laughs> level – Man, you're going to kill it, right? But if once it becomes peak, you really don't make as much money anymore. Right. Now you're behind the curve. Now Everyone you got to find the next it. fad, the next thing, right? Or there's real estate, yeah. which is always there. Which is always and there. And you just find the best place to jump in. And, um, you know, Dan and I were talking earlier today. There's a lot of opportunities that are going to be popping up into commercials. So oh if you start forethinking about the things that are happening, uh, number one, a lot of businesses are going out of business. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, but COVID has just crushed their financials. So mm-hmm. there's going to be buildings that will be up for sale. And unfortunately, in a, in a landscape like that where there's so many, you know, supply and demand, you know, when there's a high supply and a low demand, you get a better price. But there's also going to be bigger, like big box store type places mm-hmm. that could be changed into, you know, you got to think about repurposing. Yeah. They could be changed into like storage or, or any different things where you can take a big building mm-hmm. and repurpose it. 
Um, well, the great thing about that is, you know, it's, it's unfortunate yeah. these business go out, right? That they, they aren't able to make it. But you're taking an opportunity, which would be a dark store, which is mm. not generating any tax revenue. And now you're going to repurpose it into a space that could be used for storage. We were talking a little bit, Jackie, Whatever's about making a, a co-working space. Yep. That's all the rage. Having these, you know, with more people working at home now, maybe they don't want to work at home, but the office isn't open yet. I was just talking to someone recently, and they're like, we're not investing the money to really go all in, and this is kind of working for us. But let's say you have children or you just you need a separate space. These co-working spaces are going to become very popular here yep. um, in the, the next few years because of everything that's going on. You're going to see shifts in the way businesses yes. and how they operate. So these are things that now you can repurpose this to your point, Jackie, and look for, say, hey, here's how I can take this unfortunate thing and make it a positive and serve more people. Absolutely. And a lot of companies are finding that their employees are doing so well from home and mm -hmm. things are still getting done, they don't want the overhead anymore. They're realizing right. yeah. that they can get rid of their offices sure. and they can rely on their employees mm -hmm. to get the stuff done from home. But not, again, not all these employees want to work necessarily right. from their home or have the room mm -hmm. Or the the quietness, you know, kids and dogs and everything else. Right, right. You know, or two two people in the household having to work. Mm -hmm. um, it just has be become difficult for some of them. They're getting it done, but they would prefer to have a co working space. So there's there's a lot of opportunity even outside of residential. But when you start looking at residential, things are starting to come around the corner now. Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely. You know, and as the government has provided for all these stays, those are expiring. Mm -hmm. So we're finding people that aren't going to be able to catch up their mortgages and right. will find themselves yeah. in, you know, the unfortunate circumstance of a foreclosure, you know, or maybe they can't get their job back. Right. You know, there's all kinds of things that are happening. Or you have these landlords that are those, mm -hmm. we talk about accidental landlords, right? Oh, they boy. had the second property, they had someone in there that, that family was affected by this and their job's not coming back because that business closed down. Now they need to be evicted and now they're paying a mortgage payment and they're having a hard time because the basically the tenant was just barely paying the mortgage payment. Uh, we've heard the stories, this happens all they're too often. Right. Now they're gonna need to get rid of their property. Yeah. Um, so in one of those situations, we can be a real assistance to them through different investment strategies to try to serve those people in, in that environment as well. And here's what we're not saying, because I've seen a lot of this online where people are using this as like an opportunity to be a scab and just yeah. go out there no, and like no. take advantage, you know, flipping the word opportunity and really just mm -hmm. taking advantage mm -hmm. of people right. in the situations because they can. Um, we're talking more about serving the people that's who right. that's what we're in business for mm -hmm. in the first place, right? For sure. Finding the problem and helping them solve it in a win-win type of situation, not where we're, you know, taking advantage of people's problems, but helping them come out with their best solution while also serving our own business, of course. Right. But when they're in a, a really bad situation and we can help them come out of it not mm -hmm. as injured as they would otherwise be, maybe saving somebody from a foreclosure, and it might end up being a short sale, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe it isn't. Maybe we can catch up their payments right. and, you know, and, and serve them in a second lien position and just, we're just there to serve them because we have the cash to be able to do that. Maybe, you know, and creating a note for ourselves. But maybe right. it's taking over their property subject to, you know, and oh, they're sure. able to move on and do something else and we buy it subject to the existing mortgage. We catch up the back payments and we rent it out or do whatever mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of creative um, things. I, I think what it comes down to, and, and Jackie, I think what you're, you're getting at is be a human being. You yeah. know, I mean, these are people going through tough times. You can be like, it's all about the cash, it's all about the numbers. And yes, we're in a business to make money. We're in a business, let me be clear, not a mm -hmm. charity, but. but. If you have a heart and you come in compassionate and try to understand their story and try to craft a solution of just Jackie was spitballing three or four different options you could help someone with. Um, so many things. If you come through that way, they're going to be so appreciative of it. They're not going to see you as a dirty scoundrel or an ambulance chaser or whatever the case may be. You're there to serve a need. And that's where I think anyone, like whether it be Jackie, myself, and other successful investors that I know across the country, when they serve first, and fit it into their business model, that's why they've been successful and been doing this for many years. So if you can just treat someone like a human being going through a tough time and try to understand their situation and then look at the numbers and say, how can we make this work? That's how you're gonna be successful in this business. And that's a, at a bare minimum entry level of, of Real Estate 101. Yeah, there's there's so many people in the past and currently that you know, I've walked in and said, 
this I am not your best option. Right. Like, there, sure. here's what you should do right here. And it's, you know, it's not mm -hmm. going to do anything for the income in my business other than, you know, every time you put something good out, something good comes back. Right. But just yesterday I went and saw a property and I told her, I'm like, you know, it's it smelled bad because she fostered kittens. Yeah, I'm like, sure. who does that? <laughs> I, you know, big heart. She <laughs> right. fostered kittens yeah. and it made her place smell. And I was like, sure. if you do these three things, your house is market ready. You don't mm -hmm. need me. Right. You're gonna you're gonna get at least thirty thousand more mm -hmm. just doing these three things and putting it out there, and it'll yeah. sell so fast. Right. You won't need to worry about it. And that's what she's gonna do. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have made money on that, but. She didn't need me. She could do so much better. Right. And she's in retirement age. It just take the money and do the and right do thing. It. Yeah. yeah. Do the right thing. Don't chase the dollar. Do the right thing. Um, and the other thing with this too is is even in an unreal estate related things or it could be related is just maybe look for opportunities now to serve people. You know, and and if you're a successful real estate investor and have kind of yeah. planned and you have the, the wherewithal to yes. do that and you're not living you know day to day. How can you go be a blessing to these people, whether it be whatever the case may be, maybe find out what your heart and passion is and try to reach out to those individuals. Mm -hmm. yeah, obviously, if you can help them through your real estate business, phenomenal. But maybe there's other people that could, could be of need that you could be a real blessing to. So that can maybe fill you, too, in this time of where some people are struggling. And that's the reality of it. I mean, that's just where we're at. Unemployment's still pretty stinking high. Yeah. Um, they officially said we're in a recession for whatever that means. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I guess uh, there's a lot of things going out there and we're not here to commentate on that. But all I'm saying is, is you can take the information that's put before you on a daily basis, fed to us through everything that we look at, we hear. What are you putting in your inputs? Your yeah. eyes, your ears. You know, what are you digesting? And how is that affecting the dome? Because if you're not okay up here, you're not going to be able to do okay out there. Right. So you have to realign that compass. And I think that's the whole point of the podcast today is really look at things through a different lens. Yeah. You know, put down the, the negativity glasses, be educated, but then how can you now look at this and saying, how can we go about being a difference maker in what can be seen as a very downtime, right? Yeah. And remember, the different medias out there are trying to recolor the lenses 100%. in your glasses. 100%. So make sure your lens is clear. Yeah. And, and again, that goes back to what are you, you taking in. Right. But I was just thinking, you know, we were just saying if you have additional cash because of the position you're mm -hmm. in, you can bless people. But before I even ever had any additional cash and all I had was additional bills, yeah. I was still able to do that because think of all the knowledge. Sure. A lot of you on here have really amassed some incredible knowledge in real estate. Yeah, absolutely. And you can go out and help people just by sharing what you mm -hmm. know. And I'm thinking of two very specific events in my life where I helped somebody with the information I had mm -hmm. that they were able to take advantage of that information and do better with their situation. Cool. And I got referrals. Nice. Now, I didn't make anything sure. from helping yeah. that specific person with the information that I had, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking of two in particular right now that then went back and referred me to someone else that I was able to help and make money. That's awesome. So let me tell it's you what doing the right thing, out, right? And it comes back, back around, huh? Negative Jackie? or positive. Yeah. If you oh, go out and take advantage of people, yes. I'm going to let you know that's going to come It'll back. It'll come back too. for sure. Yeah. Mm hmm. Word of mouth spreads faster than any other fire. Yeah, guys. So here we are. We're about halfway through the year, right? It's June. It's summertime for the most part. You know, life yep. is a little weird of, of just what you'd <laughs> maybe do in your normal number summer routine. We're just talking about taking a family trip, and it's like, well, where can we really go and kind of enjoy <laughs> life, you know? Because yes. it's tougher. Um, but the reality is, is you can look at this as the midway point in the year and be like, all right, let's realign the, cause now here's the deal. You can now change. Let's say maybe you were down in the doldrums, right? And you've been kind of regression and you've, and we have some students of recently that have really refocused their compass and they're just killing it right now. Yep. They're doing some oh dynamite stuff. So the same things for you choose today to do different. Choose today to input things in your life that are more positive, uplifting, and how you can serve more people. You, to Jack, you said this before. It's a decision. You make that choice. It's 100% your choice. And just keeping that in mind. And and it's okay if you fall. You know, and that's the thing, too. I, I've been talking to a lot of students that, you know, you wake up in the morning and you just don't feel quite right. Maybe there's a big thunderstorm going on and you, you, you just kind of lose it for that day. You sink into the social media or something negative. It's okay to start again tomorrow. Yeah. If, if you fall today or you, you know, start to put on the wrong colored glasses yeah. for a minute, you know, one of the things you can do is to reach out to someone Absolutely. else. You know, remember who your circle is 
and be careful who you're surrounding yourself with. Be careful whose feeds you decide mm -hmm. to read in the social media. You might need to be yeah, blocking some for people. For sure, for sure. You know, and it's okay if today doesn't turn out perfect. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean tomorrow has to be the same. So, And I think, you know, you Jackie, change. I think you agree with this too, is guess what? Jackie and I are human beings too, and we oh face a lot of the same things that you do. We, I mean, there's times that we feel fear and we feel timidity, but yeah. I guess it's how quickly you stay in that position. I mean, just Absolutely. the other day, I had some stuff going through my mind. I have a transaction right now that was like, Give me a little bit of angst. And I said, you know what? It's completely out of my control. It's an yeah. appraisal thing, right? I have no control of this appraisal. Lo and behold, it came out fine. <laughs> there was no issue, but it was like, it's taking you way longer yes. than it should be. Normally, it comes back pretty quick. And it's yeah. like, well, this could be a deal breaker of, it's, it's a very lean deal to begin with, but I don't need to go into specifics. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, it was fine. But if I would have set my mind and just yeah. thinking about that all day, I would have been so unproductive. Mm -hmm. And then to come to find out, well, why did I waste a full day over something I have literal to zero control over? Yeah. It's funny because um, we just had this conversation very recently when you're really, like if you are somebody who worries about things, mm -hmm. jaw it out. You yeah. have two columns. Yeah. The column that says, these are things I can control. Yep. And the column that says, these are out of my control. Yeah. If you're worrying about things that are out of your control, mm -hmm. um, we could we could define that. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't sure. like the word. Yeah. But remember, you, you can only focus on the things you can control. Right. Remember, you can't control other people, mm -hmm. but you can control yourself. Yeah. And you can control your reaction. You For can sure. control your activity. Absolutely. And remember, you can't control how many deals you get, nope. but you can control the activity that you do. Mm -hmm. You just can't control the results. I think we've so had a podcast on activity. that in the past. So if you right. want to know more about that, you can definitely search that out. But uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. If anything, it's been therapeutic for for us to get back in the saddle with, with, with obviously us actually so being good. able to be together, right? We can yeah. actually be doing a podcast next to one another. Um, and, uh, we're like four feet apart. Yeah, we're kind of close. We're, 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 we can, we're pretty much there. We can get six feet <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But if you want to find out more information, obviously go to AppletonRia.com. Obviously with things still going on, uh, we have not officially had an assigned meeting as of this month. We are looking hopefully as of uh, maybe next month is maybe the first time we can get back into play. And um, we'll keep you up to date on where that's going to be and the time. And, and we have speakers that we've actually pushed oh, back yeah, because they weren't able stuff. to come because of COVID. So we have just a chock full of just great information and speakers to bring your way. And when that happens, uh, you'll know about it through the podcast or go to AppletonRia.com. And more importantly, you can ser service all the local vendors right now, right? You want to do a difference? Mm. Go find out who's on the vendor page and use them because they can use your business too, right? So uh, again, guys, hopefully this has been helpful. Share your comments if you wanted to have different topics to talk about you can of course uh just comment on any of the places where you get your podcasts otherwise uh we look forward to hopefully seeing you soon and yes. we appreciate you guys listening to the appleton ria podcast again my name is dan alborn she's jackie conkle have yourself a great day see ya keep that compass focused yes <laughs>